My name is Mina. Welcome to my studio. Today we're going to paint the rock. You know, the mountain is the main part of the landscaping. And the rock is the foundation of the, how to paint the mountain. So today I'm just going to show you a few examples of how you shade the rock and how, what kind of form the rock looks like. So I'm going to show you a few examples. Thank you. And the first, like uh, the other things, first we outline the rock. So just uh, use a medium, medium dark ink to outline the rock. So the big rock can always have some small rocks go with it. So we can find another rock. This rock is kind of wrong, wrong to the shape one. So now we get the rock outline done. Then we have to figure out that, you know, rock have three face. So they had in here, they had the, the, the front. So we have the front, this the top, this is the front, this is the side. And so this is the little one, same thing. This is the front, this is the side. So with all the rocks. So we're going to show them how to show the three face. How the method. There's a, so many methods in Chinese painting. So many artists divide up a lot of style. So I just going to show you a couple of them. And uh, one popular one is they call spread hand fibers. So you just draw like a like a fiber to use this method. The dark you, you draw very close. When the light you slide. So that's how the method that we're doing. So you just follow this. So that part, you do a little close. And the light, lighter part, you make few, few strokes. And same thing with this one. So that's a shade, shade. Shade the third step is doing the the, the moles of grass. You're dotting the moles of grass on, on the rock.
This is another way to emphasize the three phase too. See? You have some here. Emphasize the three phase. Then after that, the last thing is you're going to use a very light ink to over the dark area this way. Just more emphasize your, and that looks so the rock more smooth instead of just those fibrous things. The fiber, why you draw this way is, you know, the, the rock is not smooth, so they always have, uh, this we showed another, the rockless of the rock. So this way you can see the rock, different rock, different face, and then together, and they show the hardness too. Thank you. The next one I'm going to show you the rock is a little square kind. Uh, uh, that's why the shading method will be a little different too. So the rock is kind of square. They're going to have a square shape with a small rock too. So there's an outline there. Now we're going to use a different there. Uh, style of, 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 of the shading. Well, they so-called uh, horse teeth. Look like a horse teeth. I, I don't exactly look at the horse teeth, but there's something like this. Something to like this. So I use this kind of method to, to shading. Put the one here. Okay. So suppose be shade part. Suppose in shade. Because this rock is behind that rock. So It is all behind. And this is a little, little fine thing. Mo most part of And this is even, even more in the front. So same thing, sometimes when they like this one, maybe uh, I'm not going to put the grass on the top. I'm just going to the wash, emphasize more shading.
So this is, you can move those up behind. And that those are middle ones. Now I'm going to put the, some grass around. So this way they don't feel too barren. And you can also put the sun dots on the top too. So this we call the so-called uh, horse teeth shading. It's good for the square rock, more, more sharp rock. So we use this method. Thank you. Now I'm going to show you uh, another method, uh, which I don't use uh, outline. I don't use the regular style of shading. So we so called the uh, uh, bonus or shei style. So we just use the ink stroke. So I just uh, dip my tip brush into dark ink. Then just uh, one stroke. This we get the uh, three sides almost done. Then I use a to a to rock to small rock. And use some light ink. Make this joke. So put more shading here. So that's the basic case. So you get your three dimension down and your rock. That's why when you time, sometimes we do mountain, we use the same, same procedure to the ink style. And then you can put some grass on the top or sometimes I can just uh, darken them. Just a little grass in yeah, there. So this is done in which the Jay style rock. Uh, thank you. The front I just show you a few, uh, few styles of how to paint the rock. And the rock is a framework for the heavens and the earth. And uh, also, they think uh, rock have a chi, that means a spirit. So there's a saying, when you paint a rock, you have to show the grotesque, the erosion, the perforation, 
and uh, with the spirit feeling. So next session, I'm going to show you how to do the basic of mountains and the shores and the slope. So that's the next week I'm going to show you. Thank you.